Hello, welcome. Welcome to another week of crying mightily to God Almighty. I trust you've had a good week so far. And I pray that the prayers of this week will help you close out the week on a powerful and positive way. As we advertised, our theme for tonight and tomorrow night will be blessed by uncommon helpers. Blessed by uncommon helpers. We're going to be using a very familiar passage of the Bible momentarily. But before we do, Please share the link to the site that you are on right now so that others in your circle of influence will be able to get blessed just like I know you will be blessed also. Some of you regularly, you share the links. Some of you have not started doing so. Why don't you make tonight the night of beginning to share the links. <clears throat> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name for bringing us together tonight. Thank you for being with us all week long. Thank you for the opportunity we have to come before you. We ask that you will stretch out your hands. Bless us in a very special way. Give me the anointing to lead these prayers. And give your people the anointing to pray. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Everybody said, Amen. Blessed by uncommon helpers. A couple of things are suggested by that theme. Number one, there are blessings that God will give us through help us. In fact, many of the blessings we receive are blessings that are channeled through help us. That one is in that theme. But there's another thought from the theme because it also suggests that there are blessings that God gives us through common and regular help us. You're going to see that in the story that we will use for our prayers tonight. But as a third thought, the theme also suggests, and that is that there are blessings that God gives us through uncommon helpers. Who are uncommon helpers? They are people that will go to any length to do things for you. Some helpers will only go thus far and stop. But uncommon helpers are so uncommon because they go to any length to do whatever they need to do to get you where you need to get to. These uncommon helpers will go far beyond what others will do to make sure that you are blessed. Such is the story that Jesus told us about an uncommon helper that we all popularly refer to as the Good Samaritan. His story is loaded with prayer points, people, and we just want to extract them tonight from where the story exists in Luke chapter 10, beginning to read from verse number 30. So let me read to you Luke 10, beginning from verse 30. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance, 
there came down a certain priest. And when he saw him, he just passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite. When he was at the place, he came. He didn't just pass by the other way. But he looked at him. He saw how wounded he was. He saw how helpless he was. And the Bible says rather than do anything, he also passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And went to him and bound up his wounds pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him. Whatsoever thou spendest more when I come again, I will repay thee. Hallelujah. Our prayers from that passage will be divided into two. We'll first of all pray using verses 30 to 32 for tonight and the rest of the verses we will deal with tomorrow. The prayers of tonight will focus on why the hell was needed. And the prayers for tomorrow, they will focus on how the uncommon hell came to be given. Blessed and blessed by our common helpers. Let me read to you again verses 30 through 32. Then I'll pass a few comments about those verses. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. They stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance, there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. We're going to stop there for tonight and bring about maybe 40-something prayer points from those verses. They are so loaded, people, with great, 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 great truths. Now, there are a couple of thoughts I want to share with you right here. Number one, did you know that no one ever gets born saying, I will live my life dependent on others. Nobody, nobody ever gets born saying that. Nobody ever gets born saying, you know what? I just want to live my life in need of helpers. Nobody. Guess what? It is the circumstances of life that make us become dependent, helpless, and in need of helpers. That's why you never ever look down on anyone looking up to you for help. Because why it not for the grace of God, the situation they are in is the same situation you will have been in and I will have been in. Never look down upon anyone that needs your help. Number two. As this man traveled from Jerusalem to Jericho, so we also travel through life. And as he ran into such a bad situation, many, many times we run into situations that turn us into creatures that need help. When that man left the house that day, his plan was to get from Jerusalem to Jericho. There was no plan that he would need anyone to carry him anyone to care for him, anyone to do nothing for him. But, as he went on, some things happened that turned him to be a man that needed help. 
So we need to constantly pray that we will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Because being at the wrong place at the wrong time sometimes will turn able-bodied men and women into dependents, just like the man in this story. Listen, folks. Journey through life often brings men in contact with danger. Danger of thieves, danger of robbers, who rob us of this and that and turn a healthy person into a helpless individual. This man fell into the hands of wicked people. I pray that you will not fall from being hopeful to being helpless. It can happen to anyone. Now look at what these robbers did to him. The Bible says they stripped him of his belongings. They wounded him and they left him for dead. Those are some of the experiences of life that turn a healthy man to a sick man and that make a man to be in need of help. We're going to pray against that tonight. Sometimes those that you think will surely rise up to help you, Lord have mercy, they turn a blind eye and look the other way, like this Levite and like this priest. You know, it is very sad to note that many in the household of faith sometimes show less compassion than those who are not Christian. This, this guy was supposed to be a Samaritan. They were looked down upon. They were not religious people. At least the bulk of them. But here he was, showing more compassion than a priest of all people, than a Levite of all people. I don't know about you, sometimes I've seen people who are not Christians treat me better than people who are Christians. I've seen people who are not Christians show more compassion than people who are Christians. You know, sometimes I even wonder that many of our Christian people are so heartless in their dealings with people. Well, that was what happened to this man. We'll talk more about the story tomorrow and pray more about the story tomorrow. But what I want us to do tonight is pull out prayer points from the thoughts that I've shared with you this evening. You ready to pray? We're going to begin with thanksgiving. And I hope you join me as we thank God for this opportunity to pray. I want to thank the Lord for allowing us to assemble for another session of intercession this evening in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Come on, give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him dominion. Give him majesty. Thank God for allowing us to gather for another session of intercession. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we worship you, sir. Lord, we glorify you, sir. Lord, we honor you, daddy. We adore you. We bless you. We honor you. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for gathering us together for another session, another session of just, just coming to the Father who loves us, the Father who cares for us, uh, the Father who said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Thank God for him bringing us together to give us rest this evening. Hallelujah. Thank him for the freshness that these prayers bring to us week after week, month after month. I enjoy leading these prayers because they make me fresh. And I believe you also enjoy praying these prayers because they make you fresh. Father, we thank you for the freshness and the spirit that you give us as a result of praying these prayers. Thank him for over all the positive impact that these prayers have had on us generally. And the ones that we're going to pray tonight will have on us in particular. Father, we thank you and we bless you. Father, we worship you and we adore you. Someone sent me a text, I think it was late last week, and said, Bishop, God has made me to experience overturn, overturn, overturn. Literally, God did something for her. 
and God overturns something that men have said will not be overturned. Father, we just bless you. We worship you because these prayers are working for us and we can point to them that God did this and God did that and God gave me this and God gave me that. Come on, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him dominion. Thank him for the prayers of last week on the old hatred and the long-standing issues that God Almighty settled for us in the name of Jesus. Who doesn't have someone that hates them? As long as you breathe, as long as you have blood flowing through your veins, there will be people, whether justifiably or unjustifiably, that will hate you, that will just not want to see you. Father, we just bless you for those prayers. They settle many things. They put many things to rest. God will give you glory. God will give you honor. God will give you dominion. Papa will give you majesty. Thank him for defeating the spirits that promote and prolong those hatreds. They gone. They gone. The wicked water spirit. Thank God for the water spirits that God allowed us to pray against last week. And for the victories that he gave us over there, we bless his name. Thank God for the prayers of this week also that we're about to break in into right now around the story of the Good Samaritan. I don't even know why we have never prayed about this Good Samaritan, but I was actually discussing with one of the people of this prayer line last week, and the issue of the Good Samaritan came up, and I said, you know what? It would be good to pray about the Good Samaritan, and here we are. Loaded with powerful prayer points. Get ready to pray them tonight. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him for the prayers that we are going to pray tonight. But I wanted to do something, people. I wanted to thank some people, God for some people by name. Some good Samaritans that God has used to help you in your life. They may be men, they may be women, they may even be boys, they may be girls, whatever it is. I wanted to just mention their names before God tonight. Say, Lord, I thank you for Mr. So-and-so that you used to help me or that you used that is helping me right now. Mention their name. Say, Lord God, I thank you for sending him my way. I thank you for sending her my way. They are helping me with no strings attached. They are not looking for anything but to be good to me. And that was who the good Samaritan was. Father, I thank you for good Samaritan Jimmy. I thank you for good Samaritan Joan. I don't know what their names are in your life, but I want you to mention their names to the Lord. And say, Lord, I just bless your name for them. I worship you for sending these good people, these godly people. They may not even be godly people. They may be unrighteous people. They may not even be Christians. I want you to mention their names to God. They may be helping you on your job. They may be helping you in your business. They may be helping you in your church. They may be helping you wherever they are. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I adore you. I have a long list of people I can be grateful to God for who are good Samaritans in my life. Father, I thank you for all of them. I want you to pray that God will bless them for being a blessing to you. God will help them for helping you, because he won't help us be help too. So Father God, we thank you for the help us in our lives, and we pray that you will help them also where they need help. I want you to thank God for their selflessness and for noticing you to help you. You know, they are not like the Levite and they are not like the priest. They notice the man, they pass the other way. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you for Mr. So-and-so. I thank you for Miss So-and-so. That they did not pass the other way. That they did not look the other way. They looked at me and they reached out to me and they helped me and they lifted me up and they bound up my wound and here I am up and ready to go. Father, I well, thank you. Father God will bless you. Father God will worship you. Thank you for the grace he has given you to help others also in your own little ways. Yes, many of us have received many helps, but for a fact, many of us have been helpful to others also in our own little way. Father, we thank you. I bless you for using me to help some people. Mention the names of the people that God has used you to help. I wanted to say, Lord, thank you for the grace you've given me to help Mr. So-and-so, to help me so-and-so when they were in trouble, when they needed help, when they were attacked by robbers and thieves. Father, thank you because I was at the right place at the right time to help them and, and give them hope. Father, we bless you for that. We worship you for those who have helped us. We worship you for those who have enabled us to help. 
Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name, Papa. We bless you. We worship you. I want us to pray today that the Lord will give us the appropriate prayer points for tonight. These are very, very serious prayers. And we need appropriate prayer points. Yes, I've got about 40 something prayer points written down. But there could be some that will just come from the mind of the Spirit spontaneously as we pray. I want you to pray that the Lord will just make these prayers relevant to your life, relevant to my life, relevant to the life of every man, every woman on this prayer line tonight. Lead us, Jehovah. Lead us, Jehovah, tonight. Lead us, Jehovah, tonight. I want you to tell the Lord that it is not me. You should not leave me alone to lead these prayers. He himself should lead the prayers for us tonight. In the name of Jesus, by giving us appropriate prayer points, uh, appropriate prayer points for us to pray corporately and for us to pray individually. Father, just have your way. Break through, O oh Lord. Take over, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray that sin and unbelief will not hinder you in your prayers tonight. Father, if I regard iniquity and unbelief in my heart, definitely you will not hear me. Father, we pray that the sin of omission, the sin of commission, we confess them tonight. Whatever we have done in thought and word and in deed, people, you know it, you know them. Mention them to God tonight and say, God, I've stumbled here. God, I've stumbled there. Please forgive me and cleanse me. Let the blood of Jesus wash me clean, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, remove all doubt, remove all unbelief, remove all double-mindedness from my heart and from my life, oh God. Every sin of omission, every sin of commission, whatever I've done that I'm ashamed of, whatever I've done that is wrong that I'm not even ashamed of, that I should be ashamed of, I pray the blood of Jesus will wash me, oh God. I pray that you will not allow the enemy to to dangle my sin before you, O oh Lord. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me like he cleansed people in the Bible. Let him forgive me like he forgave people in the Bible. Father, let me be among those that you forgive tonight. Let me be among those that you have mercy on tonight. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, every unbelief in my heart and in my life, I pray the blood of Jesus will remove them from me, oh God. Every tendency to doubt you, every tendency to suspect you, Father, I pray that you will remove it from me tonight, oh God, as we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray tonight that God will make you worthy to stand before the throne room of grace. Papa, make us worthy to stand before you tonight. Make us worthy to stand before you tonight, Papa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, make us worthy to pray unto you, to call on you. Without the accuser of the brethren blocking our prayers, O Lord, let our prayers ascend tonight like the evening sacrifice unto you. In the name of Jesus, everybody say grace, 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 grace. Father, let grace be poured out upon all of us so that we can really pray tonight. All blockages, all barriers, we remove them from our way. Do you notice that when I started this prayer, I started feeling like coughing and coughing and coughing? That's how the enemy was. And then as we persisted in the prayer, the cough left me alone. And now my throat is clear. Now I can pray. I almost gave up. But I said, no, 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 no. We will pray through the cough. Hallelujah. The enemy just likes to throw something in your throat and just block you and hinder you from doing what you need to do. I want you to pray that every hindrance that the enemy has for us tonight, it will be, they will be removed from out of our way in the name of Jesus. Papa, pour out grace. Pour out grace upon all of us to really and truly pray tonight. To really and truly intercede tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for our friends in faraway lands in Africa, in Europe, who right now should be sleeping. Hallelujah. But they are up praying. I want you to pray that the Lord will keep them up. The Lord will keep them awake. The Lord will keep them alert to pray tonight as we pray on God. In the name of Jesus, Father, have mercy and help us. Pour out grace upon me as I lead this prayer, O oh Lord. Grace that cough cannot stop. Grace that cloak throat cannot stop. That I'll be able to enunciate the prayer points and we'll be able to pray together with intensity. Because the prayers of tonight, they need to be prayed with intensity. 
Grace, let it be poured out. Grace, let it be poured out. Grace and strength, let it be poured out upon all of us that are ready to pray tonight. So that we will really, 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 really pray. We will really, really seek God with all our hearts. Father, touch us and help us. Father, touch us and energize us. Father, touch us and enable us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we are going into the prayers right now. I want you to say, Lord, suit them out. Suit them out. Suit them out and keep them out. Say, O oh Lord, suit them out. Say, O oh Lord, keep them out. Come and say that. Say, O oh Lord, suit them out. Say, O oh Lord, keep them out. Say, O oh Lord, sweep them out. Say, O oh Lord, keep them out. Don't worry, I will tell you what you should sweep out and, and keep out. Oh Oh Lord, sweep out of my life. Oh Lord, keep the out of my life. Circumstances that will turn a person from independent to dependent. In circumstances of life, oh, hey, no one ever chooses to become dependent on others. In fact, many of us, it's an embarrassment that we have to depend on somebody for this, depend on somebody for that. But how for do, like they say in Africa, the things have happened, they have happened. You have to depend on somebody. Hallelujah. So Oh Lord God, sweep out of, keep out of my life circumstances that turn people into becoming dependent from the from, from from when they don't want to be dependent, they want to be independent. So Lord God, all circumstances of life that the enemy brings up, all circumstances of life that people bring up that make a person to become dependent on others. Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from them tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray a prayer tonight? Say, my father, my father, my father. Help me to never look down anyone that is looking up to me. Oh Lord, help me never, never, never to look down anyone that is looking up to me. You know, many times we look at people that are looking up to us, we look down on them. Never, never, never do that. Because Lord, if not for grace, I could be worse than them. I want you to really pray that prayer tonight. Say, my father, help me to never look down anyone who look up to me, because if not for the grace of God, I could be worse than them. In the name of Jesus, touch me tonight, oh God. Papa, touch me tonight by your grace and by your mercy. Give me the humility not to look down upon anyone, oh God, who looks up to me, because Lord, I realize if not for grace, I could be worse than they are. I could be in the position that they are. In the name of Jesus, everybody say, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yes, turn around. Everybody say, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh Lord, turn around all circumstances that I was born into and all circumstances that I found myself inside that have made me need help us. Oh Lord, turn it around, turn them around for me. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Right now you need a helper. Right now you're surviving because of a helper. But I want you to know many of these things is circumstances of life that bring them to pass. We don't pray for them. We don't wish for them. We are not, we are not even wired that way. But we are found ourselves there. I want you to pray for a turn around, oh God. Father, don't let me be dependent forever. Don't let me need help us forever. Let me be able to stand on my own after a while. After this man was helped, he went his own way and started living his life. I want you to pray, oh Lord, help me, help me, help me, help me. But don't let me remain in the dependent on others. Help me to be able to get up and fend for myself, oh God. In the name of Jesus, if there be any power that has sentenced me to dependency, did you hear what I said? Say, if there be any power that has sentenced me to dependency, to always depending on people, to always need, be needing help us. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from such sentence. Deliver me from such causes. Oh Lord, deliver me from begging and, and borrowing. Oh Lord, turn around all circumstances of life that I was born into. Circumstances of life in my family. Circumstances of life on my job that I found myself in that have made me to be in need of helpers. Father, I'm not complaining. I thank God for the helpers that you have sent into my life. But I'm just saying, I would like to be free. I would like to be a helper of others, not just depending on others. Oh, Lord God, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around tonight. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you. Yes, let's let God know that we are grateful. We are grateful for help us that God has sent into our lives. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the helpers that you have sent into my life. I want us to pray that prayer again. We prayed it earlier. It is very, very important. Many of us, I don't know what would have happened to us. I don't know what would have become of us if not for these helpers that God sent into our lives. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you for helpers of the past, for helpers of the present in my life. Glory be to your name, honor be to your name. Come on, give him glory, give him praise, give him dominion. Lord. Give him majesty for, for help us. Help us, help us, help us that you know. Help us that you don't know that God has sent into your life. I want you to pray that God will empower you to be able to stand on your own and not be dependent forever. Lord, I'm not complaining that I'm dependent. Lord, and that's why I'm supposed again to say thank you, Lord, for the help that you have sent into my life. Mention their names again for Mr. So-and-so, Mrs. So-and-so that you have sent into my life. But I want you to know, Lord God, I don't want to be dependent forever. Give me grace to be able to stand on my own, O oh God. Give me grace to be able to stand on my own, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, many of us used to stand on our own. Many of us never depended on anyone. But things happened. You know what I'm talking about. Circumstances took place that turned you into a dependent. Say, O oh Lord, give me back my independence, O oh God, at your own appointed time. While I I thank you uh, for the people that you have sent to me. Don't forget to rescue me so I can also rescue other people. In the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. It's known to be a very bad road. It's known to be a road full of robbers. Uh, and people get robbed on that road all the time. I just want you to pray. Uh, the highways of life. Uh, God will deliver you from walking into their wicked operations. Say, oh Lord, in the highways of life, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from walking into the wicked operators, into the robbers, into the thieves, into the kidnappers that are littered over the highways of life. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Spiritual highway robbers, physical highway robbers, emotional highway robbers, marital highway robbers. Oh Lord, deliver me from walking into their traps. Deliver me from walking into their dens. Deliver me from walking into their wicked operations. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to call on God tonight and say, Lord, let me not run into wicked men and women that will turn me to someone that needs a helper. This man ran into wicked people and they turned him into someone that needed a helper. When he left the house that day, he never thought he would ever need anybody to help him. But look at what happened. I want you to pray that Lord will help you, help me, help me, help me, help me. Not to run into robbers, not to run into wicked people, not to run, oh Lord, into wicked men. That will turn me into someone that needs a helper. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, don't let my story be turned around for evil. Don't let my story the story of my life. Let it be let it not be turned around for evil, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And we have already run into wicked men. Well, well where that is already my case. Papa, provide a way of escape for me, oh Lord, I pray. Father, provide a way of escape for me, oh Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, I'm asking that you will help me not to run into these wicked people. And we have already run into them, and they have done their wickedness to me. Papa, there is a way of escape. Give me a way of escape. Show me a way of escape. Take me through a way of escape. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, where this is already my case, we have already run into wicked people. I pray that you will provide a way of escape for me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to know something, people. <clears throat> this man went out not knowing his life will change drastically that day. 
Did you hear what I said? He went out, not knowing that his life would change drastically. I bet if it were today, he would have called people in the town where he was going, and he would say, I will be there at such and such a time. He never knew he would not be there at such and such a time. He never knew he will not, maybe he has booked that hotel. He never knew he will never check into that hotel. I want you to pray tonight and pray tonight. Please pray, oh, that as you step out day by day, say, oh, Lord, as I step out day by day, let not my life be tampered with by life changers. In the name of Jesus, say, as I step out day by day, oh, Lord, let not my life be tampered with by negative life changers. Who will take a good life and change it into negative? Who will take good health and change it into negative? Who will take good finances and turn it into negative? Say, my Lord and my God, this man went out that day in peace, but he never ended that day in peace. Say, oh Lord, every day of my life, let it begin in peace, let it end in peace. Let it begin in joy, let it end in joy. In the name of Jesus, Father, touch me tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, anoint me tonight. I pray for all my children. I pray for all my grandchildren. Let there be no day that you will say, oh, I wish this day never come. You know what I'm talking about. Many of us have experienced days that we wish, wow, I wish this day never came. Oh, Lord God, we pray that our days will be days of heaven and on earth. And any devil that will want to mess with our day, you will block them. You remember the day that this man called Job rose up and he thought it was going to be a day like any other day, but it was a messed up day. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from messed up days. Deliver me from messed up days as I step out day by day. In the name of Jesus, let not my life be tampered with by life changers. Life changers. Life changers. Negative life changers. I forbid you from operating in my life. I forbid you from operating against my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Say, oh Lord my God, prevent me, oh God, from stepping out into journeys that end up in disaster. In the name of Jesus, Father, block me from stepping out into journeys that end up in disasters, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, block me, prevent me, O oh Lord, from stepping into journeys, from going on journeys that will end up in disasters. Father God, any journey that will end up in disaster, O oh Lord, stop me from em 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 embarking on such journeys. In the name of of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray that the Lord will deliver you, deliver you, deliver you from stepping out into marriages, into friendships, into businesses, and anything that will end up in disaster. In the name of Jesus, Father, touch us tonight all across the world where men and women are praying these prayers. Deliver us by fire, deliver us by fire. Deliver us by fire. Deliver us by fire from stepping out into anything that will end up in disaster. I said this man stepped out. It was disaster he stepped into. So, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver my children. Deliver me, deliver my parents. Deliver me, deliver my friends. Deliver me, deliver everyone around me, oh God, from stepping out into marriages, from stepping out into friendships, from stepping out into businesses, from stepping out into anything and everything that will end up in, oh, I wish I did not step out. I wish I did not step out. Out. I want you to pray. I wish I did not step out will not be your portion. I wish I did not go will not be your portion. I wish I did not marry him will not be your portion. I wish I did not marry her will not be your portion. I wish I did not go into this business will not be your portion. Oh no, look at me, look at me, look at me. Anything that will end up in regret. Oh no, let me not go, let me not go, let me not go, let me not get involved. Papa, let me not go. Papa, let me not get involved. Anything that I will later regret in life that I wish I never took this step. I wish I never took the step out that day to travel from Jerusalem to Jericho. Oh Lord God, have mercy on me tonight. Come on, pray, 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 people. Wherever you are, please open your mouth and pray, please. Open your mouth and pray, please. Say as you 
travel through life. Uh, your own Jerusalem and your own Jericho is a place you want to go. Uh, you booked your uh, apartment there, you booked your hotel there, and yet you never get there. I want you to pray, say, my Lord and my God, uh, let me not go, 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 let me not go. Let me not go uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, <clears throat> where we not end uh, in peace, uh, where we not end in joy, uh, deliver me from stepping out. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Uh, deliver me from stepping out. Uh, deliver me from stepping out. Uh, deliver me from stepping out into things, uh, into situations, uh, into marriages, into friendships, uh, into businesses, into ministry. Uh, anything that will end up in I wish I did not. Uh, anything that will end up in I wish I did not. Uh, Papa, let me not go into it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now let us pray and let us see where I have already found myself. This is very realistic. Yes, we are praying not to find ourselves there. But some of us are already there. We have already stepped into marriages. We have already stepped into friendships. We have already stepped into businesses that are making us to cry, that are making us to regret. Say, oh Lord, we have already found myself in painful circumstances. Send me help us to rescue me. Send me help us to rescue me. Send me help us to rescue me. This man did not die in that circumstance. Say, oh Lord, I will not die in this situation. I will not die in this circumstance. No matter how wounded I am, no matter how left for dead, many of you have been left for dead, but you are not dying, oh, you are coming out. Hallelujah. I want you to pray where I've already found myself in marriages, in friendships, in businesses, in wherever that is painful, that is painful, very painful. I want you to say, Oh Lord, send help us, send help us, send help us, send good Samaritans tonight. Say, Oh Lord, I don't care whether they are Christians or non Christians. If they are the ones you have chosen to help me and rescue me, Papa, move them, move them, move them, move them. There is a moving in the spirit right now for you. I want you to pray that prayer intensely. All you need is a helper, a helper, an uncommon helper that is chosen by God himself. Oh Lord, help us that have chosen have not lasted. Help us that people have chosen for me have not lasted. I come to you tonight for your own God chosen helper. Direct their steps my way. They may not be even coming my way. Direct their steps my way. In the name of Jesus, Father, whatever situation I am, that man can rescue me. Send me people to rescue me, O oh Lord. Send me people to rescue me, O oh Lord. Come and open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. This man fell into the hands of wrong people. Hey, let's make a decree right now. I said he fell into the hands of wrong people. Say a decree, I shall not fall into the hands of those that will turn me from hopeful to helpless. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I said, I decree and I declare by the grace of God, I shall not fall. I shall not fall into the hands of those that would turn me from hopeful to helpless. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, let me not be turned from hopeful to helpless, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we are, have already fallen into their hands. Papa, please, please, please send help us to me, O oh Lord. Send help us to pull me out. O oh Lord, come and pull me out. Come and bail me out. In the name of Jesus, if it's the court you will use, let the courts favor me. If it's whatever you want to use. If it's the elders you will use, let the discussion favor me, O oh Lord. If it is arbitration you will use, let it favor me, O oh Lord. Father, just bring me out, bring me out, bring me out. Father, just bring me out, bring me out, bring me out. Send me help. Send me help us. Send me help. Send me help us. Come on, open your mouth. Send me good Samaritans. Send me good Samaritans. Push the Levites out. Push the Levites out. Push, O oh Lord, the priests out. The 
God are not willing to help me. Even if it is poor Samaritans, even if it is people that don't know you, that will help me out. Papa, send them to me, send them to me, send them to me, send them to me. In the name of Jesus, that I will be pulled out. Papa, pull me out of any circumstance I am right now. Papa, pull us out of any circumstance that we are right now, that are painful, that are destructive. Deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us. Can I ask you to pray a prayer tonight? That the Lord will deliver you from brooding over where you have found yourself in life. Listen, brooding over it, crying over it. This, the milk is already spilled. The egg is already broken. You just find a way of escape. Crying will not solve the problem. Sorrow will not solve the problem. I want you to pray that the joy of the Lord will be, be your strength. The Lord will help you to focus on believing him for a turnaround. Oh Lord, help me to focus for a turnaround. Oh Lord, help me to believe you for a turnaround. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, replace and restore. 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 Whatever has been stripped from me by thieves, by robbers of this life. Oh Lord, whatever thieves and robbers and kidnappers have stripped me off, Papa, replace and restore for me, oh God. Is it money, replace and restore? Is it dignity, replace and restore? Is it confidence, replace and restore? Is it joy, replace and restore? Whatever has been stolen from me, whatever has been taken from me, whatever has been kidnapped from me, Papa, I'm here tonight to ask you to replace and restore for me, oh Lord. Everything I have lost to God, replace them, restore them. Father, replace them, Father, restore them for me. Life, restore. Money, restore. Dignity, restore. Confidence, restore. Joy, restore. Peace, restore. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says they, they stripped him of his raiment. Lord, make it impossible for anyone to naked me. That's how we say it in Africa. When you say they naked him, that is, they stripped him naked. I want you to pray that the Lord will make it impossible for anyone to naked you. Naked you physically, naked you spiritually, naked you financially, naked you maritally. The Lord will cover you up. Oh Lord, I refuse to be stripped naked. I shall not be stripped naked. I will not be stripped naked. I must not be stripped naked. In the name of Jesus. Can you imagine this man? The Bible says they stripped him of his raiment. That means they removed his shirt or whatever he had on. They stripped him of his naked, of his raiment and made him naked. Say, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, don't let them make me naked. Financially, don't let them make me naked. Spiritually, don't let them make me naked. Emotionally, don't let them make me naked. In the name of Jesus, say, I decree that from today, whatever, whatever, whatever God has used to cover you, will never, 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 never be removed by anyone from you. Say, my Lord, say, my God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree that from right now, right now, right now, whatever you have used to cover me, O God, will not be removed from me, O Lord, will not be stripped away from me, O Lord, will not be stolen away from me, O Lord. Whatever it is that covers me right now, whatever it is that covers me right now, let me remain covered, O Lord, let me remain covered, Oh Lord, let me remain covered. Oh Lord, let me remain covered. Papa, let me remain covered. Papa, let me remain covered. I decree that from tonight onwards, whatever you have used to cover me will never be removed by anyone. Let no one have the power to remove what you have covered me with. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree all covering, financial covering that I have, let it not be stripped, O oh Lord. Emotional covering that I have, let it not be stripped, O oh Lord. Helpers that I have, let them not be stripped away from me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want us to pray the other side of that prayer right now. Say, my Lord, say, my God, where my covering has been removed, O oh Lord, replace it with better covering. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I said, Lord Jesus, where my covering has been stripped, Father, O oh Lord, cover me with something better than was taken. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, I pray for every man, every woman on this prayer line tonight. All of you whose covering has been removed, I command a replace 
replacement for you in the name of the Father. I command a replacement for you in the name of the Son. I command a replacement for you in the name of the Holy Ghost. Not with the covering that you lost, but with a better covering, with a glorious covering that you will look back and not even lose, lose anything and feel that you lost anything. May the Lord do that for you. May the Lord do that for me. Whatever has been stolen away from us. Oh Lord, we pray that you will restore with better things. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, where you are tonight. Say, Lord Jesus. Call his name one more time. Say, Lord Jesus. You came to heal the brokenhearted. Say, oh Lord, we have been wounded because the Bible says they stripped him of his raiment and they wounded him. Say, oh Lord, help me. Help me. Help me and heal me inside out. In the name of Jesus, we have been wounded, oh Lord. Send healing help to me right now. Papa, send healing help to me right now. Papa, send healing help to me right now. We have been wounded, oh Lord God. Please send me help that will heal me inside out. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, Papa send me help that will heal me inside out. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we have been wounded. The Bible says they stripped him. They did not only strip him, they wounded him. Oh Lord, you are the one that came to heal the brokenhearted. Oh Lord, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Where my heart has been broken, where my heart has been wounded. Father, give me healing right now. In the name of Jesus, what husbands have done to me, what wives have done to me, what children have done to me, what parents have done to me, have wounded me bad and has kept me depressed and broken hearted. But Lord, how long will I continue like this? Oh Lord, lift me up. Lift me up. Turn me around. Give me joy that knows no limit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to speak tonight by faith. Say, I speak the words of faith and healing. Say, I speak the words of faith and healing to all the wounds that have made me to become dependent. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. All the wounds from people I loved. All the wounds from people that love me. Oh Lord, that have turned me into a dependent person. Father, heal me right now, Lord Jesus Christ. Please heal me right now, Lord Jesus Christ. Please heal me right now, Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to the wounds that have turned me into a dependent person. Let the wounds be healed. Let me be delivered. Let me be rescued, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to the wounds that have turned me into a dependent man. I speak to the wounds that have turned me into a dependent woman. Father, heal me right now by fire. Father, heal me right now by fire. Father, heal me right now by fire. In the name of Jesus, let us pray for emotional wounds tonight. Oh Lord, all emotional wounds that I'm carrying right now. Wounds that make me cry. Wounds that give me pain. Wounds that give me sorrow. That men have inflicted on me with. And exchange them, oh Lord, with healing and joy of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, take my sorrows. Father, take my sadness. Father, take my emotional wounds. I'm smiling, but people don't know what I'm going through. I'm smiling, but people don't know how pain, how pain and sorrowful. Oh Lord, all the sorrows and the pains and the wounds that men have inflicted us with. Oh Lord, take them and exchange them with healing and the joy of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, touch us tonight. Touch us tonight, touch us tonight, touch us tonight. Anywhere we have been wounded, anyhow we have been wounded. Oh Lord, heal us. Oh Lord, heal us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself too. Oh, say, Lord, help me, help me. Say, Lord, say, help me to never be party to the wounding of anyone. Say, oh Lord, let me not be a party to the wounding of anyone. But let me always bring healing to the wounded. Let me not be part of those unwound people. I know I've been wounded. I know they have done their worst for me. But I'm not going to go and reciprocate on other people. Uh -uh. Oh Lord, help me, help me, help me, help me. To never be part of those who wound anyone. But to always bring healing to the wounded. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Oh, hey. oh Lord, remove far from me experiences of life 
that turned a philanthropist into a beggar. We don't know who this man was, so, but he became a beggar overnight. Ah, say experience of life uh, that will turn me into a beggar overnight, uh, that will make me to depend on people overnight. Uh, Father, remove it far from me. Father, remove it far from me. Remove far from me experiences of life uh, that turn an independent uh, into a dependent, uh, that turn a healthy person uh, into a sickler, that turn a wealthy person uh, into a poor fellow, Papa, remove it from me, heal me and deliver me. Experiences of life. This man had an experience of life. Oh, hey. From a philanthropist into a beggar, from independent to dependent, from healthy to sick, from wealthy to poor. Father, remove it far from me. Remove it far from us. Remove it far from me. Remove it far from us. Remove it far from me. Remove it far from us. They, 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 they wounded him and they left him for dead. Hey! We need to pray on that. Say, oh Lord, surprise them. Mm -hmm. Say, oh Lord, surprise them. Come on, say, oh Lord. <laughs> say, oh Lord, surprise them. Those who think I am dead, those who are spreading news that I am dead, bring me back to life before their very eyes. In the name of Jesus. Father, those who think I'm dead, those who are carrying news that I'm gone, those who are carrying news that I'm dead, oh Lord God, I want you to do a new thing for me, oh God, and bring me back to life. In the name of Jesus, they are talking about my business that it is dead. They are talking about my marriage that it is dead. They are talking about my ministry that it is dead. Father, surprise them. Father, surprise them. You know, they will look at this man and they will say, there is no hope for this man. Say, oh Lord, where they think there's no hope for me. Where they think there's no hope for my daughter. Where they think there's no hope for my son. We push them to the corner. Provide a way of escape for me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Say whatever. Come on, say whatever. Come on, say whatever. Whatever man and even myself. Yes, whatever man and even myself. I've considered dead. Oh Lord, revive and bring back to life. Oh Lord, they revive and bring back to life. Whatever they have done, and they look at us and they say we are dead. Oh Lord of revival. Oh Lord of revival. They say your profession is dead. They say your marriage is dead. They say your finances is dead. Oh Lord, shock them and surprise them. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the Lord will turn your situation around. Say, oh Lord, help my helpless estate. Oh Oh Lord, help my helpless estate. Oh Lord, help my helpless estate and turn my situation around, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Help my situation, oh Lord, and turn my story around like you did for this man in the hand of the Samaritan man. In the name of Jesus, the good Samaritan. Oh Lord, help me to walk in forgiveness also towards those that refuse to be of help to me. Ah! It's easy to be angry with the Levites in this story. It's easy to be angry with the priests in this story. But as long as you have refused help, you have received help. Why are you angry? I want you to pray, Lord, help me to walk in forgiveness towards those who refuse to be of help when they could be of help. Oh, Lord, you they know they could be of help. I know they could be of help. But they refuse to be of help, but have received help. So why am I angry? Oh Lord, I forgive them, oh Lord. And I hand them over to you in the name of Jesus. For everyone who refused to help, oh Lord, raise ten helpers up for me from other sources. Did you hear my prayer point? Say for everyone who refused to help, Father, raise up helpers, ten helpers, multiple helpers from other sources, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The priest, you didn't help. Ah, Levi, you didn't help. I want you to pray right now that those who wickedly withdraw their help and support, uh, they be immediately replaced by God. That was what God did for this man. The moment these two people refused to help him, here comes the good Samaritan. Say, oh Lord, tonight, uh, those who wickedly withdraw their help, uh, those who wickedly withdraw their support, uh, let them be immediately replaced uh, by better people uh, in the name of Jesus, people who will help me with more compassion, replace them, Lord. Replace them, Lord. Replace them, Lord. Replace them, Lord. Replace.
Finish them, Lord. Those who wickedly withdraw their support and pray for you, pastors. There are people who just to teach you a lesson. They are the ones that carry your church financially. They withdraw their support. They may still be in the church, but they don't support you anymore. Or they leave the church, so you will not have. I want you to know that God is able to provide from other sources. Say, oh Lord, replace them with better people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will help you to never have in your heart. This will be our last prayer point. Two of those that you are in a position to help. These people are in a position to help him, but they were too much in a hurry. I wanted to pray, say, oh Lord, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, never to harden my heart towards those who I am in a position to help. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is more prayer tomorrow. Hey, you don't want to miss it tomorrow night. But for tonight, let's just thank God. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him dominion. Let's give him majesty for answering our prayers tonight. Father, I will bless you. Father, I will praise you. Father, I will honor you. Father, I will glorify you for the answers you've given us to our prayers uh, that we will continue tomorrow by your grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son and I bless you in the name of the Holy Spirit. May help us never dry up in your life. And I'm talking about uncommon helpers, willing helpers. May they never dry up in your life. And all the wounds and all the troubles and everything you've suffered in life, may God send help from above and send help from below to lift you out of what man has done to you and give you comfort and joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Please make it a point to join us tomorrow. We're going to go to part two of this story, how the good Samaritan came. We're going to call them from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west to come on tomorrow and be of help to us. Don't miss it. It promises to be a blessed time. Until then, let's share the grace before we go home. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. Good night. <laughs>